There's something lurking in the waters of northern Wisconsin. An invasive water weed has set its roots and doesn't seem to be leaving anytime soon. Taryn Ledeca reports. It's a real, real uh, bad invasive plant. This plant is Eurasian water milfoil, and it seems to be taking over miles of water. But its preferred spread is by fragmentation. Um, little fragments will, will break off from each individual plant, and it will float on the water surface, and that can recolonize new locations. This weed can grow up to 10 feet, but the problems it's causing are too large to be measured. It forms real dense stands, and it makes it real tough to go boating through there, to enjoy fishing, swimming. Um, you know, not many people want to swim through something like that. And even economical, too, in, in lakes that have been infested, uh, property values drop quite significantly, actually. Though the milfoil has consumed this entire bay, it has planted its roots in waters even farther than Ashland. Bayfield County, uh, not only do they have Lake Superior, but unfortunately they have inland waters that are also infested. Um, Sandbar Lake, George Lake, the Pike Lake chains, and Tomahawk Lake has Eurasian water milfoil infestations pretty bad. Now the focus is on controlling the spread, a solution that involves the help of everyone who wants to continue to enjoy these waters. Inspect their boats, remove all aquatic plants, mud, um, drain all the excess water of your boat, uh, live wells, um, dry your boat for at least five days after you uh, take it out of a water body. In Ashland, Taryn Ledeika, the Northlands News Center. Kevin also urges anglers to dispose of any unwanted bait in the trash and make sure that you buy live bait from a licensed bait dealer.